Right here with four star linebacker Gavin Nix. I guess how how was the visit today for, for it was Gavin great. Sue? You know, from Coach Narvell to everybody down on the staff. Every time I come, they always show love and great hospitality. So it was great. I love it. Look, looking forward to coming back up here. What stood out about the visit today? Um, probably uh, Coach Narvell today. His his energy is electric and it's it's spreading throughout the whole staff. So everybody was pumped up and. Um, He's all excited about what he's doing in, in the future, so that's probably what I like the most. Everyone mentions Mike Norvell's energy. Um, just what, you know, how does how does that you know come up at, for you as a recruit? It, it's great because you would want to have a coach who's at, who's uh, very passionate about uh, pouring pouring love and in, into his kids and just making them better men. So that's something great that a recruit would love to see. What was the time around Coach Shannon like? Coach Randy Shannon, my marriage coach. Uh, it was great. I actually just got done talk to, talk, talking to him. He was just pouring wisdom into me, and uh, we actually got to watch film on how their scheme and his linebackers, actually what they do would actually translate to the NFL. So that's something great, you know, because he's teaching his guys that what he does would translate to the next level. What stands out about FSU entirely, like its entirety of the school that's involved in your recruitment? Probably just the, the culture and the tradition. You know, for years the school has been great. It's been amazing. They've been able to do great things. And to see that uh, Coach Narvell is just keeping that culture and the, the uh, everything that this program has done, to see him keeping it going, that's probably uh, the great. You know what I'm saying? Obviously, still early on for you and your recruitment. Where, the, where does FSU kind of stack up for you? FSU will always uh, stack up high because they've always showed love. You know, since I came here in my freshman year, they've uh, never stopped coming at me and showing love. So they'll always be pretty high. You know. Is there a particular thing, Gavin, that you're looking for in a school when you start, you, when you go on these visits? I mean, is there a thing that's a key to your recruitment? Uh, probably, you know, when I go to these visits, everybody talks about football. So the main thing I look for is what they're talking about in developing, developing us off the field. And uh, Florida State, I've had coach, I've had talks with Coach Marvell about what he's doing for his men and um, off the field. So really, I love hearing colleges talk about what they do for their men off the field, whether it's in the school or in business, anything. So that's probably what stands out to me. No, it's early for you, but um, I guess just, do you have any other visits scheduled for the rest of the spring? Um, I plan on going a few places, but I don't have nowhere uh, solidified yet. When do you plan to get back here? Um, Spring, well, definitely back in the spring. For like a spring practice or something? Yes, sir, yes, sir. Is that the last, uh, one of the things you want to see that you have is, is what they look like, uh, you know, how they do things in practice and stuff? And yes, sir. I actually just got done talking to Coach Fuller about how, how the real goals in uh, practice, you know, the meetings and the uh, practice and everything like that. So the last, that's probably the last thing I haven't seen yet. So I'm looking forward to coming back in the spring to see all that. I know you were at the UF game last year, um, you know, watched them, you know, beat a rival, I guess. Just ha what did, the, what did the 2022 season show you about, you know, what the staff is doing here in Tallahassee? Well, it showed me that Coach Norvell is really, he's a man of his word. He's doing everything he said he was. And, um, you know, it just, as a recruiter, it would show them that this is a, something that would be none than second to none as a life experience. You know, I came to that game, and it's probably the, the best game I've ever went to in my life. You know, Dope was rocking, and, you know, hopefully, if God willing, that will be something I can be a part of, you know. Kevin, is there any leader in your recruitment yet? Uh, no, no, sir. Team? No, sir. I, I'm still pretty young. But, okay. you know, like I said, the love that Florida State shows, they'll always be up there. But no leader yet. Gotcha. gotcha. What other schools like would be up there with FSU? Um, you know, I actually don't know yet. But, you know, we're here right now, so we're going to focus on Florida State. <laughs> <laughs> so. Gotcha. Watching film with Coach Shannon, breaking things down, what was that experience like? It was great, you know, because – the main thing that he focused on was how what he does for his players translate to the uh, to the NFL. He he will show me a clip of what he will show me a clip of a play from this season, and then he'll show me the exact same thing from an NFL team doing it. So as a recruit, that's something that you would love because you know in college you would want to get put into a program that's going to send you to the league. So that's something that I love, and you know, because uh, Shannon he's been in the game for years. So, again, I've just been a sponge to him and taking as much knowledge as I can. So that's been a blessing. Did he compare you to any of the current linebackers they have on the roster here? No, sir. He actually didn't. But, um, you know, it's just we talked about little other things, but, you know, he actually did. Did, did he explain kind of how you fit into what they want to do defensively? Yes, sir. I, he he uh, stated how he like how versatile I am. And he uh, stated that his – he doesn't have a set, like, inside, outside linebacker. His linebackers are linebackers. If you need him to step down and rush off the edge, 
blitz, uh, cover, they can do all that. So he uh, stated how he liked my versatility. What'd you measure in that height weight today? Um, I was six foot two, twenty seven. The way you laugh, like a big fan of 